Good morning from Grace Garden Florist. I'm trying to get that little house run. You can hear him singing. That little warbler. And what big change in the garden from just 10 days ago when we last worked right here. How much has come up? These are alliums. They'll have a ball of purple flowers at the top. And all the violets, I told you, were down in the soil. And there's also a couple of white ones here, which are a variety, a hybrid variety that my friend gave me. Or maybe they're not hybrid, but they're a different variety from the purple ones that I have. And a couple tulips. And my viburnum here is blooming ferociously. And it gives off the most amazing vanilla scent, which is just delicious. Little plastic swan is actually from my mother's garden and something I, I remember from my childhood. So I had that tucked in there. There's also some bleeding hearts and some lungwort, which is just starting to show a flower. I apologize for the school bus across the street that's backing up to pick up my neighbor. And here, speaking of delicious scents, is my lilac. Not quite as many flowers on it this year as we had last year. And that's what happens. They sort of are intermittent. But there are quite a few flowers on them. My daffodils are finished pretty much along this row. And Next to the sidewalk, which is right there, is my lovely crab apple, which gives me fruit for the birds. I plant purposely to attract the wildlife. And this tree here, which is over our heads, is called a bunching cherry tree. And it was a volunteer. I didn't plant this one. You can see it's quite, quite mature. And I don't even want to think how tall it is. But it makes tiny fruits. 
those are just the, the immature they're gonna get bigger probably about a quarter of an inch in size for each of those tiny circles and the birds just love them and my yard is just a happening place with birds flying to and fro I hear my wren and he's being very evasive and hard to capture he showed up first thing Easter Sunday morning oh there he is that was him I can hear a cardinal in the background as well I'm going to catch him on video. He's just given me a really run for my money. But while I'm out here, there's my painted fern that we saw when it was just tiny, tiny. Only 10 days ago. And look at him now. He's big and beautiful. And he's spreading here. This this is this here is a dame's rocket, so we're gonna leave that one. But look how awesome he looks. And there's some more of those alliums. This right here is looks nice with the painted fern. That's a stilby. There's a couple of the still be plants in here and some lilies because this is a shady spot. The lilies are toward the back where they get morning and afternoon sun.
Thank you for joining me this morning, catching that little booger and hearing his song and getting a good view of him, basking in the morning sun. But thank you for being with me. And remember to give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Bye now.